Aloha, I'm Kimo Alama Keolana, and thank you for joining me in my yard here at Ho'onanea in Nanakuli Valley on the Hawaiian homestead. And let me tell you a little bit about Nanakuli. As you come down Farrington Highway, you're going to come to the Kahe Power Plant, the Hawaiian Electric Power Plant, and you're going to see a sign that says, Welcome to the Waianae Coast. Actually, it's not the Waianae Coast yet. You're still in Eva. But the reason why the sign is out there is because Hawaiian Electric was very, very nice to say that they will keep an eye on the sign and maintain it. And all these years, they have been taking care of that sign. You don't actually officially come to the Waianae Coast until you come to Pu'u Manawahua. And that's the first set of mountains that you're going to come to when you come up that hill by the place where they call Black Rock today and you see homes. The homes that you see is the first site of the village that we call here Nana Kuli. Nana Kuli is a valley and it is, it is the entire valley is Hawaiian homes today. The very first homesteader here that was given his homestead title was Douglas K. Aulana. So that's why if you go to old Nana Kuli, you're going to see a Ke Aulana Avenue because that's where he lived. And he lived there before this land all became a part of the Department of Hawaiian Homelands. He was given this homestead lease by the very first Hawaiian Homes Commissioner, Princess Abigail Wahiika'ahu'ula Kavananakoa. Now, Nanakuli has always been dry and always been on the warm side. And we really don't have any springs to speak of or any perennial streams, or anything of much of water to speak of here. So in the old days, when they started to, when, the, when people started to come to travel out to Waianae, Waianae is where you have all the springs and the streams. That's why it's called Waianae. Wai meaning fresh water. But until then, you don't really have a presence of fresh water. So when travelers are coming through this area, and this is a very sparsely populated area in the old days. They would ask for water. And the poor residents of this place would nana or look at their coolie, at their knees. They would be hanging their heads in shame because they had no water to speak of. Or another version was told me they would nana either look down or look at you and pretend that they're coolie, that they're deaf that they didn't hear you because they had no water to offer. And so that's how we get the name Nana Kuli today. I live on a street called Mokiave. Mokiave is a type of sweet potato. So we do know that in this area, in traditional Hawaiian times, varieties of sweet potato were cultivated and grown here. And so that the few residents of Nana Kuli could go to other neighboring areas and go and trade for other kinds of foodstuffs. So Nana Kuli has always um, been dry like today. Well we got a nice breeze today thank goodness to relieve us of our heat. But you know Nana Kuli is also interesting because the Waianae Coast is actually the home of the demigod Maui. So when you come up to my home you're going to have to come up Haleakala Avenue. A lot of people will think of Halekala as the house of the sun on the island of Maui. But actually, we have our own Halekala here. But sometimes the old Hawaiians have called it Heleakala for Pu'u Heleakala. Haleakala means house of the sun. Heleakala, that part Hele is short for Ahele, to snare. So at Pu'u, the hill, where the sun was snared, was snared by the demigod Maui because his mother needed longer days to dry her kappa. If you go up Helelua Street, which is the ending boundary, the westernmost boundary of Nanakuli, and if you look into the valley, Mauka, you can actually still see the cave where Hina, Maui's mother, used to pound her kappa. 
So right behind my house up here is Pu'uheleakala, where Maui ran up to go and snare the sun. So during the summer months like this, the sun will slow down so Hina can go and dry her kappa. And further up Farrington Highway, if you go, you're going to come to a place called Ulehava, and that's where Maui lived. And if you see a sign where it says Garden Grove, and if you turn into Garden Grove, you will find that huge boulder where Maui had rested. Even though they tried to move that boulder when they built that, all those uh, residences out there, they could never move that boulder. And they have been told that, oh, because that's where Maui used to rest. So that rock could never be moved. And if you go further all the way down to the end of the Waianae coast, you're going to come to Ka'ena. And in the waters, the ocean, right outside of Ka'ena is Pohaku o Kauai. And that's where Maui's fish hook, Manaya Kalani, landed right in that water at Pohaku o Kauai. So you see, Maui is a Waianae boy. And he snared the sun, Haleakala, right up here. Pu'u Haleakala. Now, as a homesteader started to come and settle this whole area, in 1947, a man named Mr. Richard Ely, well, his full last name is um, Ely Va'alani, or sometimes he was, it was uh, called as Ely Va'akalani. Well, Richard Ely had formed a boys' club here in Nanakuli. And the boys' club was called Hui o Kamali'i Keikikane. Richard Ely had a nickname. They called him the professor because he wore glasses like me. But his glasses made him look distinguished. And so they called him the professor. He looked like a professor. And so the professor composed this song in 1947. And why he composed this song is because as the boys grew up on the homestead, they started to look for jobs, and the jobs were mostly found in the city in Honolulu. So this song was to call them back. And the title of this song is called Kaleo o Nanakuli, meaning the voice of Nanakuli. And so he composed in a song, O Kaleo, the voice, O Kamanu, of the bird. The birds are symbolic for people calling. And what they're calling is, Ho ho e mai e pili, come and return and stay. Then he says, Hui o kamali i keiki kane, it's the boys' club, a o nanakuli ea, of nanakuli, ho ho e mai e pili, come back and stay. Keiki o kaaina i kapono, you are the children of this good land, a o nanakuli ea, of nanakuli ea, e ho e mai e pili. So these are the words that he composed. Then about um, 1970, my dear cousin Tony Lindsay had recorded this song. He didn't have um, the, the words really all uh, pono, all pa and correct, but he be recorded it and the song became a big hit. Whether you were from Nanakuli or not, you love to sing this song. Well, right now I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, share with you the original. And the second line, the melody line of the second verse, a little bit different from what you will, uh, are normally would want to hear because Tony Lindsay didn't record the second line uh, as the way I'm going to sing it. But that's okay. Main thing, you love this song. And I'm going to ask Mr. Kamahana Kealoha to come and join me. Kamahana, come. Kamahana plays the guitar. And Kamahana lives here in Nanakuli too. Here's Kamahana. Now, I'm going to um, play it in the key of A for those of you who want to join me in Kamahana. But I'm going to take uh, I'm going to take it line by line, okay? So just I'm just going to sing it line by line so they get ma'a, and then we can sing it together, okay? Okay. 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 First, ready? It is how it sounds, yeah. Okaleo. Okay. This is where the melody is going to be uh, kind of not ma'a with you. Oh, come on, you notice I went up here, yeah, I didn't stay like the recording. Then I'm gonna sing E7, yeah. Ho ho e mai, and then I go back to A. Hey, Pili. Then I go back to Oka, uh, Hui o Kamali i Keki Kane. I'm gonna go to A7, and then to a D. Hui o Kamali i Keki Kane. Then I go back to A. 
Then I go to E7. Ho ho e mai. And then pili. I'm going back to A. Pili. Then I'm going to A7. That leads us into a D. Keiki o ka aina i ka pono. Then I'm going back to A. Nana kuli e a. Then I'm going to E7 right now. E ho e mai e and then pili back to e pili and that's the whole song. Okay, folks are ready. Folks ready? Ho kani ukulele guitar. Come on, are you ready? Okay. E seven and A introduction. How's that? O kaleo. O kaleo. O kamanu. Ho ho e. Ho ho e mai. E pili hui o kamali i, hui o kamali i keiki kane a o nana kuli e a ho ho e, ho ho i mai e pili keiki o ka aina, keiki o ka aina i ka pono a o nana kuli e a e ho i mai. One more time. O kaleo, o kaleo, o kamanu, ho ho i mai e pili, hui o kamali i keiki kane a o nana kuli e a, ho ho i mai e pili. Keiki o ka aina, keiki o ka aina i ka pono a o nana kuli e a e ho i e ho i mai e pi e ho i mai e ho i mai e pi. Aloha no, mahalo. Welcome to Art Pacifica, powered by the world's largest Polynesian dance store, Aloha Hula Supply. Become a member to enjoy video content, monthly specials, quarterly giveaways, and discounts on premium workshops. Together, let's learn, share, teach, and grow as we uplift our cultures and support each other. Mahalo!